Um, if you're uh, on the vegetable oil routine for your vehicle, uh, Annie wanted to show you my truck that I pick up oil with. It's this old Jeep pickup. Uh, and the reason I use this old Jeep truck is it sucks. It really sucks. But as uh, a gasoline type engine uses a butterfly valve in the uh, intake, so it creates vacuum on the engine when it's idling. That's how they run the vacuum boost brakes, if you've ever seen them on a car. A diesel engine has to use its own separate vacuum pump, and it's uh, uh, much more difficult to plumb into that and get it hooked up than it is on a, uh, just an internal combustion gasoline engine. So this, this engine provides a vacuum for this old propane tank out of the back of a pickup. It's an 85-gallon tank, so I can pull almost two barrels. At a, at a restaurant and uh, so if you have a route that uses uh, just a barrel or two this is a good size to uh, pick up your oil. Um, I'm using existing fittings on the tank so you don't have to change any in no welding or something. This is the old fill valve it's now the suction hose. When I unload it I just roll the tank over when I set it on the ground but see I have a loader and stuff which makes it a little easier. So. Uh, let's make some, let's make this truck suck. Uh, let's go to the front end, to the engine. This is the vacuum line for the vacuum boost brakes. So I just used a regular vacuum tee that you buy at a parts store. So if you, if you don't have, you hear the engine speed up, it's got a vacuum leak. It's this line right here, see that? Now it's idling fine, let it leak. That's the only difference you'll see in a vehicle. So this hose goes down underneath and follows the uh, routing along the frame to stay up out of the way, comes up in the bed of the truck. So that's our vacuum hookup up here. Just close the hood. So it comes up right here. This is a temporary thing because we haul hay and stuff in this truck too. So this is made so I can load it up and unload it. So if I open this valve, you look at the valve gauge it'll start building. This gauge is not accurate by the way and I don't care. I, I just need a general idea. When it's sitting at atmosphere it's sitting at two pounds of vacuum, two inches of vacuum. But it'll pull on this. You can hear the engine still running fine. Uh, within a, oh, two or three minutes it'll have it up to 15 inches of vacuum. 15 is plenty to suck a barrel dry in probably 60 seconds you can suck a barrel. Uh, if it's colder weather it'll move slower. Hmm. So I'll show you the actually actual su sucking process in another video. Bye. Thank you, Tom. Stay tuned, Buff. Do you get to go along? Look at this stuff. <laughs> Are you excited, Here, Tom? Look at this fuel. <laughs> look down in there at the bottom and show it down in there. Wow, clear as a bell. Clear as can be. Good job. You can't smell it. You have a second hand? No. Yeah, I like your little uh, push down the throttle thing. Wow, Tom, that's so exciting. And that's the one you were wondering about?
Beautiful biodiesel. Wow. What does it smell like? First batch of biodiesel into the tractor. Wow. Are you happy, darling? Oops, I put it in the radiator. <laughs>